Laser cutters open a new realm of creativity and fabrication possibilities for makers. They allow for the speedy creation of complex layouts with little difficulty, as well as the ability to engrave geometry into a workpiece at different depths. The purpose of this training is to show the most important safety procedures for these devices on campus to enable you to create amazing things. Before using a laser, there are a few things to remember. Never use a material that is not on the space's approved materials list. Many plastic and synthetic materials are not allowed as the fumes are highly toxic and will have adverse effects on your health. Using a material not on the approved list may also generate smoke or flame that can contaminate or damage the laser optics. Most CO2 lasers, like the Universal VLS series, are not strong enough to cut through metal sheet, although they can engrave or mark some metals with certain coatings. Ask a staff member of the space if they allow metal engraving. Always check the approved materials list for your space. If you are unsure whether your material is allowed in the space, you may bring the material safety data sheet and follow your space's procedure to decide whether it is safe to use with the laser. If you don't know what material you have or if your material is not on the approved list, you will not be allowed to use it. Always ensure the ventilation system attached to your space's laser is running before operating it. This will prevent any harmful fumes or odors from entering your space during the laser cutting process. Before loading material, measure it properly with dial calipers. This information is used to set up the laser. When the laser is open and a part is being located, ensure there is nothing in the way of the laser's gantry while a jog is being performed. While the laser is moving, the only thing that should be in the laser cutter is the piece to be cut. If someone is arranging a part inside the laser cutter, do not try to operate the machine at the same time, or else you may harm the person who was arranging the material and the laser cutter. Never leave the laser unattended while it is in operation. When you have finished your part, make sure to remove all materials left in the laser. Do not attempt to perform maintenance, modify, or troubleshoot any part of the laser cutter. Ask a staff member for assistance instead. Never attempt to modify any safety interlocks or viewing windows on your space's laser. This will endanger yourself and everyone else in the space as well as anyone who comes after you. While operating the laser cutter, small flashes of flame are normal, but any large flames that don't go out are unacceptable. These can lead to machine damage, your part being ruined, and in a worst case scenario, the flame spreading to other parts of the space. If you see a sustained flame, press the pause button or open the lid, which will stop the laser immediately. If the flame does not go out, follow your space's sequence for putting out small contained fires in the laser, which may include triggering a fire alarm, spraying with water, using a fire extinguisher, and or notifying staff. If you ever feel that you are in danger from the flame or the flame has begun to spread outside of the cutting chamber, pull the fire alarm. The nearby fire extinguisher may be used at any time if it is deemed necessary, but only if you are safely able to do so. Your space may have specially designed fire extinguishers for use with the laser cutter to prevent damage to the machine. You are now trained on the most important safety procedures for using a laser cutter. Always read the standard operating procedures document for the space in which you are operating the laser. You may also need to complete additional training specific to a particular makerspace or shop before using the laser cutter in a given space.